good morning. Uh, kind of a different episode for us today. Jeez. Okay, Megan's back on the vlog. Uh, we're doing a, a reaction to the new... shoulders. <laughs> She's like pushing me out of my box here. Ooh, that sounded weird. Uh, we're going to do a reaction to the new Acura Integra prototype. Yes, and so just so we're clear, I get the feeling... So this is kind of like the Supra, right? When they released the new Supra, people loved the old Supra so much that they were like... Oh my gosh, new Supra. So is that kind of what this Integra is like? Like people love the old Integra? Like yes. I get, it was kind of like sporty looking, very yeah, modern they, and fun for its time. Yeah, I think they had a couple different models over the course of, uh, I guess it's long run time. But I think they stopped making Integras in like early 2000s, I want to say. Don't kill me in the comments. And just so we're clear, I was still playing with Barbies in early 2000s, so I didn't really care. Because you're a young Well, I didn't really why. care about cars, so excuse There's me. There's an age I'm... gap between us, by the way. We celebrated our fourth... Uh, Yes. Fourth year anniversary for, for marriage yesterday. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a look at it. We have not seen anything except for the like and dislike ratio on the new Acura Integra video. It does not look good, by the way. Uh, way, way more dislikes. Kind of crazy. Uh, but you, you haven't seen it either, correct? No. No. I'm excited, though. So I, I guess my hope would be kind of like, you know, when they redid the C8. Uh-huh and added some of those fun like little i don't know design elements to it i would hope to see some of that with you this. would hope i would hope you, you know would hope. like that south park episode <laughs> <laughs> where it's like Satan wants a Ferrari cake for his birthday. See, and like, ends up getting the Acura Meg, so cake. Megan gets back in the vlog after not being on for like an hour and just talking about South Park and Satan within the first like two I'm minutes. So we're gonna we're gonna jump into it right now. Like, okay. I would hope that are, they would add some fun design elements. All right, are you like, ready? Let's modernize this this business. Are you are you ready? I am ready. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice President and Acura Brand Officer John Ikeda. Okay, so this guy is either gonna have like the best day ever because people are gonna love the new Integra or his name is gonna be synonymous with, with failure, I think. Yeah, like Elon Musk when he was like, oh, the windows are- <laughs> Let's hope they don't have one of those moments. Bulletproof. All right, let's see here. Hello to everyone here with us in Los Angeles and those joining online. This is a big day for Acura. And as I was preparing for this announcement, I was thinking back to 2015 when we introduced the production NSX and formally returned to our precision crafted performance DNA. And now, in just a few short years, we've completely rebuilt Acura as the performance division of Honda, going back to our roots. And today, you're going to see the next major piece of that strategy a new gateway model that will take the Acura brand to an even higher level with the revival of one of the most influential model in our brand history. The He's not kidding. Uh, Integra, it's very well loved by uh, sort of, I guess like not old school car enthusiasts, but there's, there's a place for Integra. So question here, Acura is the performance um, brand of Honda. Other than the NSX and now the Integra. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, this might seem really mean. No. What other cars did they have? Uh, you make an interesting point, <laughs> Megan. I'm not no, trying they're re to they're be rebranding, mean. though. I'm trying to be, I'm just asking a question. That's fair. Okay, we're going to jump. Are you ready? The Acura Integra. And this all new model ushers in a new era of performance for a new generation of customers. And I've been waiting to say this for a very long time. The Integra is back. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Maybe he should have said point. that after he unveiled it. I'm <laughs> getting nervous. <laughs> and in keeping, and in keeping with our focus on less stock and more drive, let's get right to it. Here it is, the Acura Integra prototype. Now we get to get ready for a, uh, I'm assuming a very trendy video. All right. Ready? Probably. 
You know, Acura to me just means energy. So they showed a bunch of older uh, Integras, and now I guess the new Integra is sitting behind this weird, like, translucent screen. wall screen? I gotta admit, the screen element is pretty cool. Okay, the screen is cool. Um, but... I'm getting nervous, though, because it kind of looks like a Chevy Malibu <laughs> from, like, 2007. Ah, so... Let's see it come out from let's behind hope that, the veil. Uh, let's hope that it doesn't look like a Chevy Malibu right. from 2007. Let's, uh, let's do it. think swing and a miss <laughs> <laughs> I... it looks like every other f oh, okay like I, I love the old integras uh i this feels like every other normal four-door sedan am i missing something yeah it's really not like special yeah i mean it looks like every other four-door sedan out there currently I mean, unless i'm it missing does. some sort of design element here um i mean on the positive side, the no. headlights are the headlights are kind of cool. Well, let's let's see what let's see what kind of power we're talking about. Maybe and there's some other things to like here. It's Hawkeye colors, which that's kind of nice. Yay, Iowa. All right, yeah. let's see let's see some more here. Ooh. I kind of, I kind of like the back. I do like the back. Do you um, hear that forced applause? Yeah. He's like, like, yeah, please, let's let's please clap please, for the car. Please start clapping. My job is on the line. Um, no, I okay. So I like the back of the car. It's I very like coupish. The, yes, that's kind of sporty and nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't stand out to me. Like if they're trying to kind of break through as Acura is now this new performance brand, that kind of. Yeah, I mean, it's got, this is the last day we'll be able to see it, 1.3 thousand likes and 2.7 thousand dislikes. That's pretty, that's about as bad as the yeah. new WRX was. What's unfortunate is I think that, like, you know, when you're on the road and when I see, now this might not be popular, okay, so don't kill me because I'm not a car person. Um, you're a car person. I mean, I'm a car person. More now. Kind of. Yes, more now. But when I see like a Kia Stinger on the road, I'm like, oh, that's a good looking car. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's a Kia Stinger. Probably better um, looking than this. Yeah, when I have a feeling when I see these on the road, I won't be like, oh man, that's an Acura like, Integra. I want one of those. That looks really nice. I probably won't have that. It just looks too normal. Well, let's, let's hear what it's about then. Now this is an Integra for the next generation. Now, we have a clear understanding of the formula that worked in the past. So it's sleek and sporty like the Integras we all fell in love with. Is it, though? Because it's, it's 
I mean, it sounds like they completely missed the mark here because the people who are going to be watching the new Integra prototype launch video are probably fans of the older Integra. Yeah. But with this new model, we really focus on styling and versatile packaging that will appeal to the next generation of customers. With its striking fire door design, it's perfect for active lifestyles. And with its dramatically sloping roof line, this new Integra has a coupe-like presence while maintaining the versatility of a liftback. The all-new Integra prototype was crafted with the next iteration of Acura's signature design language, the new frameless diamond pentagon grille. And also included is Acura's unique lighting signature, featured front and rear with four element jewel eye headlights and chicane daytime running lights and brake lights. With its great proportions and stance and dual exhaust finisher, this Integra shows its potential as a true performance fire door. Now, clearly inspired by previous Integra models, this prototype features distinctive wide single piece tail lights. And just like back in the day, the name Integra is embossed in the front and rear fascias. The indie yellow pearl color you see here on this prototype is borrowed from the NSX, but it pays tribute to the Phoenix yellow of the iconic third generation Integra Type R. So what's interesting here is they put some pictures up of the old and the new NSX in the background. And I think probably people that are watching this video just want more of like the old NSX in the back. That's sort of like classic design that everyone fell in love with. And then people were like, huh, new NSX kind of weird. I actually like the new NSX. No, I don't, I I don't they, mind it. No, I wish they would have like maybe added a little bit of the flare at least from the new NSX. It just... There's no flare. There's no flare. It's... I mean, I do like the back. I don't know. Maybe, like, I don't know. maybe I'm missing something. It feels yeah. a little bit soulless. Like you yeah. could put this into a crowd of other just normal sedans and not see anything special. Maybe I'm being too harsh though. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I like the back. I do like the back. And it's not just a tribute to the color. This will be the first turbocharged Integra from the factory. And it will deliver on an emotional driving fun of its predecessors with a turbocharged 1.5 liter VTEC engine an available six-speed manual transmission. Okay, so that is actually kind of a big deal. People are going to be excited about that. VTEC and manual, that, that is good stuff here. Is um, VTEC kind of their... It, it, yeah, it's a whole thing. Their signature. It's okay. a whole thing. So people are going to be excited about that, I would imagine. And the manual thing, that, that's also really good. Yeah. So let's keep going. And limited slip differential, Integra is developed with enthusiasts like you and mine. We all know the trend towards SUV and crossovers, but this model will flip the script when it arrives at Acura dealers next year, priced around $30,000. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 30K? I, I can deal with that. That's actually very, very good. I'm curious how modifiable that engine is going to be. I don't know enough about it. Are they it right known now. for? Yeah, like being the, older, kind the of... older school stuff, you could do a lot to them. Yeah attracting customers beyond just its competitive segment. Now, I've designed cars for over 25 years, and I know that passion is important for great cars. And I'm confident that the passion our team put into creating this model will make an emotional connection with our customers. And that will make this Integra the gateway to a new era of accurate performance. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at the word gateway. All I can think of is like gateway truck. No. <laughs> it's stupid. Stop. No, you know, the more I look at it from this profile with a little bit of the side, I do like it. I like the slope in the this, back. This could have been so much crazier. Yeah, though. I just feel like there was, and I guess I could see why maybe they didn't do some of like the flare elements I'm talking about with the new C8 because it is a four door. You're all about the flare. But I mean, I am because like, it's important. He's talking about having an emotional connection with the car. Yeah. And if it, you know, it's kind of soulless, like you said, well, it, I mean, it's, where is that emotional? Let's see what some of the comments are. Yeah. I'm curious. Just Aww. makes you realize how good the original Acura Integras were. 
the fact that most comments are not enthusiastically thrilled, your team needs to wake up and seriously look back at the last Integra design. It's perfect for active lifestyles. Sorry you're mistaking everyone for Subaru Outback customers. This yeah, is an embarrassment. I think, I think that's the biggest miss is they were trying to kind of make this like both utility and sport and the people that are driving this don't want a four door. They're the people they're the kind of pe person that wants a two door car. Look at how sad like these are. Sporty and modifiable. Without a doubt the most disappointing reveal this year could have been the best but they did this. Incredible disappointment. I designed cars for 25 years. Please go back and reflect on. Oh no. Oh, that's so bad. These are pretty brutal. Yeah, I mean I, people really wanted something that was going to be different than this. I yeah, think. I think this one is like huge. You could have called this anything else and that would have been fine. I think that's accurate. Yeah, I mean like... Or Acura. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, that's I agree with that though. It's like, okay, make the the design that is um, kind of utility that people can use, but it's also sporty, but don't call it the Integra because that's not what the Integra was. I, so I you get, get it, and yeah. you didn't even know anything about the Integra before I the video, that. and you oh, get that. The balls on this man to go out there and say that this looks sleek oh, and sporty. It's kind of sad. <laughs> no. Oh, this is brutal. This is this is one of the worst comment sections ever. Just wait for YouTube to get rid of comments next. Uh, this is it's a bummer. I, I feel bad for for Acura at this I point. I do because there is definitely a market for this car. Yeah, it's just like, not the Integra market. Like for the forty year old dad who has car seats that he wants to put in it, but still wants a sporty car. Yes. This is perfect. Sporty dad? Is that what you Sporty said? dad, yeah. Sporty dad who has to have car seats in the back. I guess it's time um, to make our announcement then about being a dad. No. No. No, we're not. No. <laughs> don't even. You're done. You're done. <laughs> so yeah, kind of an interesting, slightly under, well, maybe not even slightly underwhelming video from Acura, but uh, I guess let me know in the comments below. Maybe, maybe we're both very wrong here and everyone else on the internet is wrong as well. And maybe you really love it and you're super excited about it. Uh, the price point's good. Yeah. VTEC, manual, that's all nice. I just, the styling just bores me. I think me, they though. just missed the mark. They're like, the Integra was a certain kind of car and they made another kind of car. That's and accurate. And they just kind of missed. Well, Megan, thanks for being back on the vlog. And Thank then, you. Uh, yeah, have a great day, guys. We'll see you later. That's all I got. Bye.